John Levitsky, inventor of the welder's pocket pal. I've been welding for over 30 years, pipeline, various other jobs, and I've come up with a tool that I'm sure will help every welder. It's got four functions on it. It's got uh, two types of bevels, which is 33 and 30, and on my building trades model, it's got 35 and 37.5. And it's got low cap, high cap, and it's left hand, right hand, and it's also metric, and it's imperial. So it's got a lot of features. Uh, to give you a brief uh, idea what it does, like on mainline, welders are in a very much of a hurry. They, they look at their welds and they move on. And a lot of times the welds are low cap, they uh, get repairs. So this will eliminate all low cover repairs. It will save pipeline companies and oil companies a lot of money and a lot of time. So for more information on my pocket pal, check out my other videos on the website. And thanks for listening. Hi, so now I'm going to talk about the advanced cut line of the welder's pocket pal. And all you do to use the advanced cut line is you turn the tool upside down and there's your lines. This one here is 33, this one is 30. So I've set this torch here at 30 degrees, so I'll be using the 30 degrees on the pocket pal. And we have to measure from the start of this bevel to the end. You can take anything straight, you can take a file, I'm going to use a another pocket pal here and I'll take the pocket pal and I'll sit it up against there and I'll measure and this one says quarter of an inch so now I take the pocket pal and I take my 30 degrees and you can line it up in the front or you can line it up in the back whichever you prefer and then you add your quarter of an inch and you mark your pipe and that there is the way you'll know exactly where the end of your cut is. It's all laid out on top of the pipe. It has to be very, very precise, especially on pipeline when you're doing tie-ins. And this is the type of uh, torch and crawler you'll be using on pipeline. You can use the button tip or the longer tip on either or. And this is a building trades one. It works perfect on either or. So that is the advanced cut line for the welder's pocket pal. So now I'm going to talk about the uh, two beveled ends on the welder's pocket pal. This one here we have 30 and 33 degrees, which is the pipe liner. This one here we have 37.5 and 35 degrees, which is the building trades one. And also you can use this in uh, educational welding facilities where you learn how to weld. This would be the one that would be using. So we've cut this pipe at 33 degrees. So it's actually long. You can actually see the space. So it will not, it'll be longer than 30. And that's what you pay attention to is that space. This works opposite of all other tools. On this one, it's exactly 33 degrees. You can start welding this one on the pipeline. So anyway, that's the beveled ends on the welder's pocket pelt. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the high cap part of the welder's pocket pelt. Now, pipe on the pipeline, if your pipe is 10 mils or less, the cap can't be any higher than 2.5 mils. If it's any higher than 10 mils, the cap won't be any more than 3.5 mils. So all you do to adjust this tool is you take your snip, and I'm gonna go to 2.5 mils, and I just snip it off like that. And there you go, it's at 2.5 mils, and then you take your, your tool, and you put it over top of your weld, and you just brush it along. And if you feel anything on the cap, you know it's too high and you've got to take it down with your grinder. And if it's not too high, it'll just slide along nice and easy for you. And that way you can check your height. And that there is the high cap of the welder's pocket pal. Hi, I'm going to talk about the low cap part of the welder's pocket pal. So once you're done your weld and you see something that you don't like, it's a little bit low, you take your welder's pocket pal out of your pocket and you put it on your weld. And if it rocks, your weld will be fine. And now if it was low, it wouldn't move at all. And you would have to re-weld that. So you take your tool, and if it moves, your weld will be good. That's the low cap part of the welder's pocket belt. 